Lean is a systematic approach to identify and eliminate waste or non-value adding activities through continuous improvement by flowing the product at the pull of the customer in pursuit of perfection. By implementing Lean, we look at reductions in defect, lead time, cost, inventory, space and waste while improving productivity, customer satisfaction, capacity, responsiveness, quality and profit. By using Lean, we are looking at a systematic approach targeted at reduction of waste. We are saying anything that is not of value to the customer is a waste. We will discuss these seven wastes in the later part of the video. But here, through Lean, we look at reviewing the process for any non-value adding activities, looking at establishing pull by the customer and creating in pursuit of perfection. Let's look at the five lean principles. The first, specify value in the eyes of the customer. In lean, anything that the customer is not willing to pay for, anything that does not make things first time right for the customer is not value. So the first lean principle would be to specify value in the eyes of the customer. Once that is done, you are required to identify the value stream and look at opportunities of elimination of waste and variation in the system. The third is to make value flow at the pull of the customer. There are two kinds of processes that we talk about in the industry. One that we refer to as make to order or the second which is referred to as make to inventory. Pull is about make to customer order. My process will be triggered by a customer need instead of making to inventory. The fourth and a very important constituent involve align and empower your employees and finally continuously improve knowledge in the pursuit of perfection. The first core lean principle is to specify value in the eyes of the customer. You should look from the eye of the customer at what is value according to him. Whatever the customer is willing to pay for is value. Whatever contributes to first time right for my customer is value. Everything else is non-value adding. You are required to first understand the term value before you lean a process. The second step would be to identify the value stream and eliminate the waste and variation. Identify for yourself each step of the process, even the transactional ones, and identify which step is value adding, which step is non-value adding and identify opportunities of eliminating such waste, such non-value adding activities and variation in the system. The third, make value flow at the pull of the customer. You must look at delivering what the customer values as and when wanted by the customer. So you must look at the value stream and try and reduce or remove the non-value adding activities, reduce or remove waste, look at opportunities of reduction of variation in the system. Anything that does not add value to the customer must be looked at critically and attempts be made to remove them. And while you do so, the in your pursuit, you should look at 
pulling the process that is you should look at making to customer order instead of making to inventory and try and see if you can manage single piece flow instead of batch processing the fourth and very very important is to involve align and empower employees employees are the closest touch points to our customers so you must look at educating them and seeking their participation in the process and hence enabling them to drive improvements we should look at continuously improving knowledge in our pursuit to perfection it is an unending improvement process always look at opportunities to enhance your knowledge with the objective of achieving perfection in your work areas the next constituent of lean the three m's the first is muda the second is mura and the third is muri muda is a japanese word meaning waste mura means inconsistency and muri means unreasonableness so you whenever you are looking at a business process try and target these three elements one which is muda or any waste in the system there are seven types of wastes that we talk about in lean of overproduction over processing waiting inventory unnecessary transportation unnecessary motion and defect so if you see in your business process the existence of any of these seven you would start to target them the second is mura or inconsistency or variation variation is an evil whenever a business process has high variability it is bound to create unacceptable performances variation reduces predictability and predictability is a very important element of business success the third muri or unreasonableness if you find anything unreasonable in the business process you must target that immediately let's look at examples of mura if there is high amount of variability in delivery time if there is variability in unscheduled leaves unplanned leaves the count of production done by people in your team has high variability login hour has lot of variability if you see things like these happening in your system where you see very little predictability or lot of variation in how things are being done the productivity count of people is wavering the accuracy scores are not consistent login hours are a problem there is lot of variability in the way things are being done fantastic opportunity for you to fix it next muri muri was unreasonableness you have unnecessary information available unnecessary information being sought from the customer which is not required to process a particular transaction you have under trained staff expecting high productivity from under trained staff is unreasonableness you have unclear instructions it is unreasonable to expect standard outcome from unclear instructions poor communication so if the communication is not happening it is unreasonable to expect the correct results coming from business so mura is about inconsistency or variation muri is about unreasonableness muda is a very important topic in the lean study any activity that absorbs resources but adds no value is a waste muda is a japanese word which stands for waste activities that add no value shall add cost and time waste 
is a symptom. You need to find root causes and eliminate them. Waste points towards problems within a system. There could be incidental work. There could be pure waste. And there could be value. The value component in a business process not studied for waste would be very, very small. In typical operations, lean practitioners are of the opinion that between 1 to 10% of all activities shall be value adding. All the rest shall be non-value adds or pure waste. There are seven types of waste of overproduction, excess inventory, unnecessary processing, unnecessary motion, defects, waiting, transportation and conveyance. The people wastes, the quantity wastes and the quality wastes. People related wastes could be unnecessary processing, unnecessary motion and waiting, while the quantity related wastes could be transportation, overproduction and excess inventory. The quality related waste could be the defects. Waste exists in every business process. One must work at eliminating it. The first muda is overproduction. Overproduction shall consume valuable resources which are not immediately needed. It hides other process problems like bad quality or poor scheduling or poor delivery. It builds inventory which is not needed. Simple examples could be overproduction shall take up floor space. You may be working on wrong priority work or generating more information of reports of paper than that can be processed. You are processing more data than what is required or generating more documentation than needed. Produce or order only what, when and in the quantity needed. The second waste is excess inventory. Excess inventory shall tie up your capital. It will require moving. Sometimes there would be difficulty in finding material. It reduces your customer responsiveness, takes up valuable space, can have impacts on obsolescence. There could be losses due to damage. There could be multiple quality problems. You are populating hard disk with old redundant data great example of excess inventory. You have lots of inventory on shelves and racks and floors. You are having a package of paper waiting for approval. Large delivery quantities instead of frequent deliveries are being made. You have unnecessary record retention. Efficient use of inventory should be done. You should not have just-in-case inventory. Third is over-processing. It consumes valuable resources, let's say disk spaces, creates delays in data retrieval. It provides opportunities for more defects. Simple examples like unnecessary approval processes, processing beyond the specification limit or customer requirement, eliminate excess work. The fourth is unnecessary motion. It could impact labor efficiency impact safety. You could have wasted cycle time. You are running for Xerox from one portion of the building to the other. You search for a long time on a computer. Sitting, searching, turning around, walking, climbing, choosing, bending over, lying down are all examples of unnecessary motion. You must implement 5S and try and see what tools, what inputs are required at what periodicity and make arrangements. Treat operators as surgeons. Everything must be within the reach. The fifth muda, defects. You are creating or correcting defects, robs resources, chokes the flow and must be minimized or eliminated. You could use examples like wrong parts received from suppliers or incomplete or incorrect inputs. A lot of rework. You will have to develop the Six Sigma mentality. 
of working at reducing defects. Sixth, waiting. Waiting shall always add to cycle time. It consumes valuable resources, increases the work in progress, slows down your response to the customer. Simple examples could be you waiting for downloading files from an application or waiting for peer reviews. You have idle time due to lack of standard operations or you are waiting for inputs and decisions. Waiting is hazardous when inventory waits, your customer waits. And the last waste, unnecessary transportation. Unnecessary transportation consumes valuable resources, adds to project cycle time. It leads to capital expenditures, leads to data restructuring. Simple examples could be, you're making several emails versus phone calls to your customer. There are unnecessary sharing of files to unneeded users. Unplanned warehousing leads to unnecessary transportation. Email responses are reply to all. Your storehouse in the factory is far from the operations area, so leading to unnecessary transportation.